something to say. Hey everybody, how's it going? Say. This is Our House 21. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about location scouting. Now for all you up and coming speed run guys, you know that it's tough out there to try to find a good place to run your cars. So here, this is an example of a place that on a first order looks really good to run your car. But then we start to think about it and really dig into it. And there's all sorts of things that are wrong with this location. Like first off, this place is right next to a residential zone. So you actually have, you know, even though it's a nice clean piece of traffic or a nice clean piece of pavement, you've got this street that comes in right here. And when you're in the middle of a run, you may not notice that, you know, someone's coming through here or at the very end of the street, like what's happening right here, you got people running across, you got people turning on. So imagine you are blasting through at a very quick speed, starting over here, you're paying attention, you're lining up, car comes through, shoot past, and goes directly into that. Bad, bad, bad. Now, here's another really promising location. And this one actually has a lot of good stuff going for it. Now, first off, you have a section of really, really clean pavement. And uh, according to Google Maps, the total stretch of the pavement is about 800 and but just over 800 feet. And you can see it's a controlled area. You know, there's not any side traffic, especially if you get here after hours, because no one's around. And you look here, you know, you've got a nice controlled area. There's only one entry point right down here, and it comes from a parking lot, you know, low traffic area. So this looks like a really good spot. Um, and there's really not a whole lot of downsides about it. The only real downside that I can see is the fact that, again, this is on private property, and depending upon the time that you're here, and if there are security guards, you might get run away. However, you know, you know, if you if you hit it at the right time, and um, you don't make yourself a nuisance, something like this, you know, this is on the back of a warehouse, you know, but this could be a very good location. And another thing I like about this type of location is it's very very wide. So you've got guidelines in the pavement, so you can use that to help you know help aim help guide yourself through but then like i said there's plenty of runoff area if something does start to go wrong you have plenty of time to brake the car to just out of control you can slide a little bit and get on the brakes so everything there's like I said, there's a lot of positive things about this location um and you know so like I said, a lot of good stuff about this type of place. The problem is not everybody lives near a big warehouse or distribution center. So sometimes you have to be a little bit creative to find places like this. But you know, this is definitely one of my new possible run locations. Now, those of you familiar with my site or with my videos will recognize this location. And this is my most recent speed run uh, location. And it's in a little office park that's actually around the corner from my church. And it has a lot of positive things going for it. You know, it's a, it's off the road. So it is on private property, meaning it's an office park, but it's a controlled area. There's only two entrance points, one down here, and then one down there at the end. And it's fairly low traffic outside of business hours. It does have some issues though. Number one, this does have a decent amount of traffic. So I do have to be extra careful, as you see right here. So there is quite a bit of traffic that comes through, so you have to watch out for that. And it turns out it looks like there's a fitness center opened up around the corner, so that increases the amount of traffic that's going through. The other thing is this area actually has a pretty good elevation change, so you probably can't tell from the video, but there's quite a nice little downhill. So just to make it fair, I've been typically doing my runs starting from the low side going up. You know, it actually works against me from a gravity point of view, but you know, I figured that that's probably the most fair thing. Also, just starting down there, it's you know, I got much. I have to worry less about here because there's no way to get onto here except for this little spot which I can see and control. Other downside here is that you might not be able to see from the video, but there's a little hill down there, a little divot. So when I line up, I can't use the full amount of run because when I go overneath there. Um, I just found that coming over that little hill down at the bottom, that little bump, it you know it helps to get the car off. So I really can't put on the throttle until right on the crest of it anyway. So 
According to Google Maps, this stretch of usable pavement is about 800 feet. Realistically, I'd probably use about 600 feet of it. So, again, it works and it has a lot of positive sides to it, but it also has a lot of negative sides to it. So, I don't think I'm actually going to be using this area this season. You know, I mean, I might come here for a quick testing run, but the last area, the warehouse area that I just showed you, it actually makes a lot more sense and it um the pavement is actually better quality i mean like I said, this isn't too bad you know but it does have some bumps and some dirt um so the other place i think is a little bit better choice it's more controlled and it's a little bit more off the beaten path so i don't have to worry about things as much so this is my new current front runner location now what you find here that's different than other places this is part of a dead end road so down there, that's completely blocked off. It goes to a field on the other side, so there's nothing back there. There's a little uh, hook off that goes down here, but that is blocked off as well. So there is no traffic coming in here at all. We're in an office park, so you know once after hours in this building, nobody's coming in from that direction. And you see this pavement, while though not perfect, is really clean. And according to Google Earth, you know, we've got, you know, but basically all the way down to where that orange truck is, that's about a quarter, you know, I guess it's about at least 1,200 feet. So, and so between that point, going past here, shooting down to here, we have a good amount of clean pavement. It's not quite as good as Lamont's Road and Bastards United, but, you know, it's only right down the road from where I work. And it seems to be a, it seems to be a pretty good candidate. So again, closed access, nice clean pavement. After hours, there's no reason for anyone to be coming through here. Um, it is a public road, however, like I said, it's a dead end public road. So you know, I think that this might work out pretty well for me. So probably in the upcoming time frame. I mean, I would have been out today probably doing some runs, but you can see, you know, it was raining and the pavement's not completely dry yet. And, uh, you know, so today's not a great day for a run, but great run days are coming. And I think that, you know, this spot, and I have a couple more uh, little uh, secret locations that I scouted out that might also work out pretty well also. So again, like the big, requirements for this type of thing you know you want anywhere from 800 to a thousand clean feet of pavement if you can get 1500 feet that's even better um but the largest thing like i was saying is just having controlled access good quality pavement and you know the ability to not have to worry as much about you know people just popping up and spoiling your day so all right our house 21 signing off see you guys next time and remember always like comment and subscribe um and remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fix it and do it all over again peace